Hello and welcome to the What Lee Makes YouTube channel. This is usually where you can find a monthly podcast about my crafting adventures. Today's video is an unboxing. It is some yarn that I've been like, really excited <laughs> about. Um, I'm doing an unboxing so it's a different location if you recognise that. This is actually being filmed at home. Um, the yarn has come. I'm going to get it wound ready to go away on holiday. So today's date is the 30th of July 2022. Um, let's have a little look while I grab. It has come in this really beautiful teal packaging. So I've got a couple of bits. So the first thing I got was this heathered fade set, this is a York, really sorry for crinkling, this is a Yorkshire heathered fade set, um, I got it on the 4ply merino fingering weight base from Skein and the Stitch, she is on Etsy and she also has her own website, um, it's 100% superwash merino, 400 meters for 100 gram skein, I don't know how we'll see the lighting, it is and plastic in the morning, the lighting is not brilliant. <laughs> this is out of the packaging. I can show you a bit better. The first stage is the lightest, is this sort of like greens and like light pinks and darker pinks. And the next one is like a darker pink but it's still got tiny speckles of the green in, the splashes. Green's a little bit of brown. And then the third stain, sorry, the final stain is like a really dark purpley colour, which is absolutely beautiful. I'm really keen to get this filmed. It needs to wind in, engage watching, etc. Ready for. Um, I am going to Yorkshire on Monday the 1st of August and I hope to knit. I'm going to do the flat flight I think in that and then just fade it through. I'm really excited for that. Um, today is the day that I go to the arm dispenser in Kent so I'm gonna get it wound there because I don't I'd rather get it done out of the way um, and hilariously skein and the stitches yarn is dyed in Yorkshire so that's wonderful that is her logo um, those are her details do check her out on social media too and then I also ordered a custom fade set for the um, heathered fade top. I also want a pair of matching socks. Um, so I messaged her and asked her if it's something she could do. We sort of had a little bit of to and fro in about the colours. So let's have a look at what I got. So these are the three. In the fade set, this is on the sock base, so it is 75% merino, 25% nylon. I hope you can see that. So I'm doing this at different angles to one that I use in work. And then I wanted a set of five, so they're the three. It takes about 65 grams ish to do a pair of like longer socks for me. Um, so I'm going to use those three, and then I'm going to do contrasting cuff. I think in the pale pink. I love that. I've got a green as well which will go. I'm not sure whether to do I'm gonna do after port heels. I don't know if to do contrasting cuff and toe in that and then do the heels in that maybe. I'm not sure. But oh, that's the other item that came with this order. So thank you so much for watching. Um, I should have said this at the start, Disclosure. Purchase everything in my own mini, I'm under no obligation to give any kind of review or feedback, etc. Customer service has been wonderful. 
I ordered it and she said it would be however long I can't remember now the dates but she said it would come I think in three weeks two to three weeks I think she said because she said she got some space free in her diary um and I said oh if it can come in that time frame that'd be amazing so I'm actually going on holiday and at that point I was I said to the friend I'm going on holiday with I was we're going to Yorkshire I need to knit a Yorkshire top <laughs> we aren't tied in Yorkshire Wolves in Yorkshire <laughs> so that's what we've done thank you so much for watching <laughs> bye